Okay, guys, sorry I couldn't be there today. Go ahead and please try your hardest on some good notes. I know the division is going to be rough, but please try your hardest on the division. Okay, and then you can start your homework. Again, this is self-paced, so if you want to try it all on your own and then zip through the video to just check it, that would be fine. Okay, read carefully. In 2008, the price of the ticket is $7.50, but later on in 2014, the price of the ticket is $10. What is the percent increase? So we see that word. That is the terminology that identifies our difference over original. So let's write it up, out and set it up. Difference over original. And that's percent increase, that terminology. So now we have $10 minus 750. And the original is the smaller number. Don't always assume it's the larger one because the original was earlier. It began at 750. So let's go ahead and do the math. $10 minus 750. You gotta add in that change. Line up the decimals when you're subtracting, and that is 250. So you have 250 divided by 750. Now think of it as 25 and 75 cents, and what you get is one third when you simplify it. Now you can sit there and divide, and you divide, and you have to move your decimal over once and once, and then you're gonna realize that it's gonna start repeating because one third is 33.3 repeating per cent. That's the memorized list from the beginning of the year that I asked you to memorize. So that is one third, a quarter and three quarters. That's one quarter, that's three quarters, one third. So percent increase is your final answer. And yes, you need to write the percent increase. If it's a percent decrease, you write that. We need to know that it is going up. The enrollment at Jordan Middle School went from 1,400 to 1,100 students in the past five years. What is the percent decrease? So there we go. There is our terminology that identifies difference over original. So difference means I'm subtracting them. So 1,400 minus 1,100. And the original, it started at 1,400. So it is the larger number this time. Okay, so let's subtract 1,400 minus 1,100 equals 300. So we got 300 over 1,400. Now let's go ahead and simplify that before we do dividing. Simplify mean I could divide by 10 and then divide by 100, and all you get is 3 fourteenths. So let's do 3 divided by 14. So let's put our decimal in there. Add a zero. 14 goes in there two times, and that's 28. Your remainder is two. Add a zero. That's one time. Add a, subtract and get a six, add a zero. Okay, so I know on the next one, 14 times five gets you 70, and that's too large. So I know that's a four, so that's 16, that's 56, and I know that is a four then. Okay, so I keep going one more to see what that is, because if this is five or more, that four needs to be rounded up to a five. So I do know that this is a 40, and that is probably a three, because we got 30s. No, that is 42, it's too much still. So then I know this is less than one, it's actually a two. So we're gonna round this, and that comes out to 21.4%. Remember, move your decimal twice. You gotta move your decimal twice in order to change it to the percent. Okay, and now this was a percent decrease because it went down. And that would be your final answer. 
Okay, at this point, I'd like you to pause it and try this one on your own, please. Do not continue to play. I want you to try this one on your own without help, and I will put the answer up right after this, but pause it right now. Okay, I hope you set it up correctly where you've subtracted the two on top and then you have the original of the earlier experience of 1998 at 312 on bottom. And then you get the subtraction which is 253 over 312 and then you would divide. Okay, let's take our time and go through this division part because I know that's where we struggle the most. All right, so I'm going to look at the 300s into the 2500s. I know 3 goes into 25 eight times, so let's go use that as a guide. Let's try 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 1 is 1, plus the 1 gets you 9. And then 9 times 3 is 24. So when I subtract, I go ahead and subtract that. So we borrow, and this is a 2, and that's a 10, that's a 4, we borrow, that's a 4, that's a 12, 12 minus 9 is 3, so that is 34. So now I add a 0, and I do know, hey, that's pretty easy. That goes in there one time, and that's 3, 12. Now I subtract, and I'm going to get 28. Now, I do the same thing again. I add a zero. So when I add that zero, I only get a zero. It does not go into it. So again, I have to add another zero. And let's see what goes into that. Three goes into 28 nine times. But let's check it because this isn't gonna be, it's gonna make it too much. So let's make it an eight and that would be 2496 again because that was our eight when we multiplied, we could use it. And our remainder would then be less than that. So we do know that this is going to make that increase. So we could go ahead and just name it and go ahead and solve it. And that is 81.1% decrease. You could go ahead and leave this. Remember, you're moving twice. You could go ahead and leave 81.08%. That is fine. Or go ahead and round it up. Practice your rounding. Now do the same thing on this. Try it on your own and check it with a neighbor. But I'll put the answer up. Just pause it right now, please. Okay, first make sure you set it up correctly. You subtracted the two and you did put the larger one on top and this is 14 cents and the original, because this is earlier on, is 14 cents. Okay, so check your subtraction, $2.43 minus 9, 14 cents. Remember, you have to line up those decimals. So it is $2.29 difference. Okay, make sure you set it up correctly. You got 14 cents divided into $2.29. You can't have decimals out here. So let's go ahead and move them over. Move twice. That means you move twice and you put that decimal straight up there. So all we're doing is 229 divided by 14. So let's get started. We got 14 into 21, one 22 one time. So that's 14. You subtract and you're going to get 8 and you bring down that 9. So how many times does 14 go into 89? All right, I'm going to try 5 just because when I'm doing this, I like to get a gauge of where it's at if I don't really have a clue. So this is 20, get a 2, and that would be 70. So I do know I could get another one in there. So that is definitely a 6. And what I do is I add that 14 to it, and I know 6 is an 84. So minus 84 gets you the 5 left over, 
goes in there one time. And then that would be a three. So that would get you a 42. And the remainder is eight. Add your zero. And again, we're back to the same one. So that is a, it is one less than that. So it is a five. So let's keep going. That goes in there exactly five times. So that would be a, right here, five was a 70. So, so we're gonna have 10 left over. So 70 and minus that is a 10. So you add a zero and I know that next one is gonna be a zero. So let's go ahead and figure this out. I know you keep going, but I hope you remembered you're gonna have to move your decimal over. And I know it looks funky, but look at this. You move to the right twice to make it a percent. And that comes out to 1,635.0 percent increase. So look at it, look how much it went up. It did go up a lot. A 100% increase would be another 14 cents. So 100% increase would be 28 cents. So this is reasonable. Now go ahead and start your homework and please show the percent increase or percent decrease in your final answer.